Hello and welcome to EverQuest. Today we are starting a new uh, stream series. I'm calling it the Sons of Thule. Uh, there is an intro video uh, that I've already posted on YouTube. Uh, you can find that by hitting uh, the command uh, exclamation point intro. Uh, there's actually a few commands now and uh, there's a new rule set for this group. It is a trio. Um, Let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I've started new characters on Ferona Vi. Uh, I have a bard and a shaman along with a shadow knight. And uh, yeah. Hey, Eben, how are you doing this evening? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, the, the rules are pretty much this. Uh, have fun. Uh, these, these characters are going to be forced to level in Kunark. Uh, they can come to Plane of Knowledge for uh, spells and uh, whatnot. Uh, they did get buffed somehow. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know what happened there. Uh, but I did buy them all the bags. These are fresh accounts I just created uh, two days ago. Uh, so they they pretty much they're starting zero money, zero nothing. I bought them uh, the current expansion, and so they have whatever that entails. Uh, I gave them the mount give them some extra hit points and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, the goal is just to get to 120, have some fun. Uh, I'm playing three characters, so uh, uh, if anybody in the five level range wants to join, uh, is kind of where I'm. So the max level I would group with would be like a level five or level six at this point, right? Uh, I, I, I just don't want to get power leveled is really what it boils down to. Uh, I don't have auto grant on, don't plan on using auto grant i want to level all 60 something thousand aas on this guy uh by hand and that is kind of one of the offsets so that we can use the uh the bazaar and as we make money we can buy cool things and stuff like that and uh the reason i'm starting over here instead of the stone over to uh kunark is someone has already <laughs> sent us uh some stuff and uh a vampy uh, some welcome to Ferona Vi. Here's some newbie weapons to get you started. So I'm going to go ahead and claim these. And uh, thank you very much to Vampy. We're going to get this uh, underway here. Uh, they look like they are uh, items from uh, Temple of Ishin. So it's fantastic. So we're going to head over here. I got them in tow. Uh, let's see if I can swap around. Uh, I have them at 60 FPS in the background. So they will actually follow <laughs> It's kind of nice. I found out if you turn on the default auto follow to 60 FPS in the background, characters actually follow. And currently it is the uh, anniversary event. And that's one of the reasons why I started this group now. Uh, there is an item I want very badly called the uh, Drunkard Stein. Uh, we can't get that until level 21 or so. So definitely something we're going to do. And uh, if I wait any longer, I'm not going to be uh, not going to be able to uh, get it because it is an anniversary event. All right, so let's take a look at these weapons that we were given. Uh, let's see here. The spiked mace is a shaman weapon. Let's go and give that over to him. Uh, uh, the dagger is a bard dagger. There we go. Swap that in there. Let's put that over there. We might need an offhand for her later on. Uh, and then if you if you watch the intro video, there is a little backstory to the characters and whatnot. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give her the hammer of battle also. And what else did we get here? We got a Shadow Knight shield. We got a Shadow Knight one hand. Uh, we got a Shadow Knight two-hander, and we got a Soul Leech, a Dark Sword of Blood. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we're going to need uh, 50 in alcohol uh, tolerance for that, so uh, we, we need money. <laughs> so we're going to have to make money to buy alcohol to get all these guys drunk to go do the quest. Uh, so that's, you know, going to be a part of it. Uh, let's go ahead. What's the highest ratio here? We got a 1-0. 
One, one. Let's start with a great spear, see how that works out for us. Oh, it looks pretty badass too. Nice. All right. Let's get everybody uh, zoned over. And once we zone over, uh, we can't leave. <laughs> we can't leave Kunark uh, for the most part, unless it's to come to Plane of Knowledge to buy spells. Uh, hey, Kren, how's it going? Hey, Kendrick. Um, so I'm pretty sure that the Shadow Knight is going to pretty much one-shot everything, uh, since he's... He's going to have a, a nice two-hander. So he's going to do pretty well. And uh, someone buffed him with uh, damage shield when I was AFK at the bank. So it's very nice. All right. Let's get everybody in. Get them following. And there's also, I believe, an experience bonus going on right now. Uh, additional experience. So we're going to have... Experience bonus from Throne of I, which is 50%. We're going to have the experience bonus from uh, the the event. And then I have eight uh, experience potions or so. So we're going to be doing pretty well. There we go. We're already uh, off to the race. I don't think we're actually hit, kill, getting any experience for these, are we? No, the damage shield killed them. <laughs> there we go we got one and I didn't start in the tutorial I wanted to actually uh, like level it up you know what I mean so we're doing this so he's just gonna probably one shot everything I don't have any kind of assist macro set up on them yet nothing's gonna last long enough to matter there we go, everybody hit level two. So we're gonna probably speed through this pretty quick here, it looks like. My plan is to stay here in uh, Field of Bone till level eight, and then we're gonna head off to Kern's Tower till 18. Uh, and then the world kind of opens up a little bit more. But we cannot uh, get experience outside of uh, Kunark. That is the biggest... <laughs> Biggest thing until 60, and then once we hit 60, we're going to be free to uh, do whatever we want. Uh, which will probably be uh, probably some planes of power zones and whatnot. I don't know. Um, let's put these on burn. I don't know why I don't have the mercenaries actually on. So mercenaries apparently are free until level uh, 14, and then they start costing money. So I didn't know that before. Because I usually have... Uh, tutorial money right like 50 50 something platinum or so leaving there so it's uh always pretty good uh we can sell this start some of the stuff around here let's uh screed those let's put her on auto loot she's gonna be our looter she is our uh she's our captive uh and she will uh sell things for us and negotiate all our uh all our stuff what is this junk this is a quest item we don't want this uh let's see and bone chips we want those i'm gonna greed those there we go <laughs> yeah yeah I made up a little uh, a little backstory because so I originally th I thought space kitties would win the uh, poll and space kitties obviously uh, you can do warrior shaman uh, and a bard with the same race and uh, for some reason I thought that would that would have won but uh, didn't and uh, not having a bard is uh it's quite a, uh, or any CC for that matter, not just a bard, but is uh, quite a, quite a pain. I tried, uh, I did some testing on my, uh, with my Shadow Knight, uh, Shaman and Necromancer to see how viable that would be. And it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't as fun as, uh, I was hoping it would be. 
because uh, to get the maximum DPS out of a Necromancer, right, you have to literally be uh, casting spells non-stop to uh, even remotely uh, get enough DPS. And it just doesn't really work when you're playing uh, from the Shadow Knight as the main character. So I... Uh, and a bard is the best a DPS for a melee, and I'm using melee, uh, melee, um, what you call it? Mercenaries, so should work out overall. I need to do some testing on, uh, on Bristlebane still to see, uh, how much DPS I'm getting out of these guys, but, uh, they should be, uh, at 120, they should do enough damage to uh, hold their own, if you will. All right. Greed, 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 greed. Let's just greed it all. Actually. You never took that. There we go. I can just do this. Set all. There we go. <laughs> Save some time. We'll eventually get to the point where there's no more new loot. And, uh. I won't have to deal with that. There we go. And uh, I'm trying to find, there's a tunnel around here, a cave, yeah, we're right over top of it right now. Some, at least it used to be instant spawn uh, spiderlings. And we're just gonna run around in there and kill those until we uh, get get going. Let's just send all that to her. And I think, uh, I think I, I just got some chain gauntlets I gave off to him. Let's see if I can Let's see if they'll assist. Yeah, she should be assisting. I don't know if she's close enough. Oh, it helps if I uh, set myself as the correct role, right? There we go. I set I set all their macros up the same. And if you're curious on any of the macros I got going on, uh, I did cover them in the intro video, and then they are the same as my the basics multi boxing series I did. Uh, Pretty much the same kind of macros. Uh, I don't think I have a bard in that group or mercenaries, but it it uh, it's about the same. Uh, I think in my Firat series, I do the bards, some bard macros, because I added a bard, but that hasn't aired yet. Yeah, the frog lock DPS is. So I originally, when I started planning it, I was expecting. Uh, Ixar to have like a uh, like a healer merc and a uh, DPS merc, but apparently they don't, and uh, that was a uh, kind of unfortunate because I wanted it to be uh, all Ixar plus the Bard to kind of make it a uh, more uh, like that. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna camp the Ixar mask and uh, let her be able to do that to turn into. Uh, a permanent XR once we get to uh, to that point. There we go. Yeah. Kind of uh, kind of slow at first, I guess, because you know we don't have much going on in this new area. And I usually do the tutorials uh, and get to like level ten, so it's just gonna take a little a little bit more time. Uh, but so far, I've been. Uh, pretty pleasantly surprised by the server on in all honesty uh there has been a lot more player activity that i've seen in uh the, <laughs> the short time i've been on that i've seen on uh bristlebane so far so it's kind of nice uh it's like nothing that we can grab let's grab this guy right here once we break into this we should be fine
go. Make sure she's playing her song. There we go. All right, I'm gonna turn myself off uh, Polar just to speed them up. You're marked as Polar, they're a little bit slow. To uh, do anything. All right, we hit level five. We got origin. Looks like everybody hit level five at the same time, so we're good. Uh, turning in the like, so I started them in Crescent Reach uh, just because uh, I, I didn't want to have an origin to like some random <laughs> capitalist area. I wanted the uh, origin to be uh, kind of consistent between the three of them, and uh, so when I did that. The bard got 3.5% of uh, of a level, and everybody else got 1.5, and I don't know why. Uh, I didn't think there was a race class uh, XP difference anymore, so it's kind of interesting. But uh, one of those weird things you, you notice when uh, playing lots of characters. And uh, we do have a healer merc. I do have that out because uh, I don't have healing set up on... Uh, the shaman really so that is gonna probably be our main healer for the most part I'm gonna try to do 80 PS and DPS on the shaman most of this time until we get to uh, higher levels are these even uh, sellable I think so I think they're like a platinum each there we go level six now we're gonna start losing experience when we die which is sad flip around here right so she should be able to start meleeing nice and I'm going to go ahead and make a macro real quick I might already have one for him no I don't all right let's do assist assist main Attack on, and we'll just make that. That way, the the um, the shaman here can get a little bit of get a little bit of work into. He should be he should be attacking anyway. Don't think I did that right. Oh, there's a uh, anniversary pot. Um, I might. I haven't read logged since I logged on, so it might. I might not see it yet. Uh, those are duplicates. Let's just send it all to her for now. I do wrong. So that is a assist main attack on. Okay, he's attacking now. There we go, perfect. Let's see, claim. I think I can do a refresh, right? All right, visage the stone grabber. Is this? This is the uh, illusion, right? And a goblet of adventure. Oh yeah, the group. Uh, the fifty percent group potion. Nice. <laughs> That'll be fun. Uh, that will be fun. I'll probably use the experience potions when they get a little higher level so that they can actually uh, really benefit from the compound uh, experience. There we go. This is just working out very well. They almost have a platinum. <laughs> go and Britter, brittle iscar skeleton xr skeleton send that there all right i got another level everybody hit level seven nice there we go
and perfect. And I was actually considering doing a heroic start with these guys, uh, but I wanted to test the uh, Kunark leveling path uh, for a uh, theoretical Kunark start TLP and uh, see how, how that works out. It's going to be interesting. Um, Probably in 18 minutes when this damage shield wears off, because then they're going to actually have to do damage. That's probably when we'll go get spells, uh, give or take. And we might be able to get to... to uh, we might be able to actually get pretty high then. Uh... Let's move them a little closer. All right. I think I'd probably be better off if I had a another rogue merc right now. But level eight, nice. We'll see. So level eight is when I want to head to Kern, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh straight over this way. Kearns has a uh experience bonus and uh it is like a s insane experience. At least it is on the, the other servers. I don't know if it changes at all because this server has an experience bonus or anything like that, but this should be very good. We should be, uh, with the horse mount, right? We have 4,500 hit points along with all these buffs. So, I mean, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be too, uh, too hard up for uh, getting damaged. There we go. Yeah, the, the the mercenary is a good safety net. You're, you are right. All right, let's see if we can get to Kearns here. Oh, we got a large scorpion on us. And a... Oh, those rogue mercs are just taking care of business. I know, I kind of like how they're the old frog lock models versus uh, hiring the Gukaten, uh to... Uh, do it. I kind of like that. I can get a caster mercenary also from uh, the XR race, but it is uh, a goblin. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. Oh, auto greed. I don't have you on auto loot, do I? So you probably did not loot those other chain gloves. Ironically. Yeah, you didn't loot any of that stuff. And I didn't put that on you either. So, oh well. Let's go up this way. See if they can make it. Oh, they're doing just fine. There we go. Awesome. 